Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, uh, part of the ideal transformers will be talking about equivalent circuits. Okay, to build the concept, let's uh, consider the circuit, the transformer, primary voltage, secondary voltage, source voltage, source impedance, and similarly output source voltage and source impedance or load impedance. Now the first step to derive the formula we'll do is open the secondary. So that means I2 will be zero. And since inductor L1 and L2 are considered to be of very high value and finite value, therefore I1 will also be zero and we can use this formula actually uh, when inductances are very high. That means when I2 is zero, therefore I1 is also zero. And this means there will be no voltage drop here. So the voltage drop across ZG1 is zero. And so this voltage V1 will be same as source voltage. So V1 will be equal to V source 1. And we know that because of the transformer ratio, the output voltage is input multiplied by the turn ratio, which is A. So V2 open circuit, this voltage here, which was actually V2, now we'll calling it V2 open circuit. So V2 open circuit is equal, equal to A times Vs1. And I hope you remember that A is the ratio of number of turns. So we were here that the input voltage is now Vs1 and the output voltage or open circuit voltage is AVS1. And the Thevenin impedance is obtained by setting Vs1 zero. So uh, we, this is the output voltage or the Thevenin's voltage we can say we have found. Now we need to find the impedance. And for impedance, you know that we have to set the voltage source zero. So we set the voltage source zero. Therefore, the circuit will look like this. And we are looking from here to find the impedance. So Z7 in will be ZG1 multiplied by A square. So it will be multiplied by the turn ratio. The impedance will, when it appears here, it will be multiplied by the turn ratio square. And so this whole primary circuit can be represented by this formula at this point of time, at this point, AVS1 and the impedance has become A square ZG1. So this is the uh, equivalent of the primary circuit that is on the left of the secondary terminal. So we have found an equivalent for this part. And now if we plug in, this was this part. And now if we join this, so this will be our equivalent circuit without transformer. So this is the complete circuit, which is a much simplified version and we can easily calculate any of the parameters that we want. So this we replaced the left half or the uh, left of secondary circuit in the same. So we can uh, summarize our finding for the left hand side circuit replaced, so we replaced actually this part from here onward, this whole thing we replaced and the point to note here is that the primary voltage multiplied by the turn ratio, so the primary voltage Vs1 is multiplied by the turn ratio and the current is divided by the turn ratio, we have, there is no need here for that, but you should remember and the impedance Zg1 
1 is multiplied by the square of the term ratio. So that is what it is saying here. And if either of the dots is interchanged, so the dots here are on the same side, but if one dot is here and the other is here, in that case we have to replace A by negative A. So this is when we replace the transformer and the left hand side. And similar way, if we replace the transformer and the right hand side complete, then this will be the replacement part. This will be the replacement part and you can see here that the voltage is divided by A, output voltage if it is present, so the voltage divided by A and the impedance is divided by A square. So this is the technique we have to keep in mind and again here if the polarity are different then for A you have to use negative A. Okay, so this is what it is saying about the dots. Okay, so this is the question. For the given circuit and figure, determine the equivalent circuit which the transformer and the secondary circuit are replaced. So if we replace this part, then what will be the equivalent? And in the B part is the transformer and the primary circuits are replaced. So if we replace this part, then what will be uh, the equivalent circuit? So it's very simple, we just uh, use the formula, the voltage, now this is, we are replacing the secondary side, so uh, you have to divide by A, this was the, this is the circuit and now we have to divide this by A and actually minus A because the dot polarities are different here. So you can see the dot polarities are different so we have to divide this by minus A and so and the impedance also has to be divided by A square or minus A square will make it plus A square. So this is now the equivalent circuit and now we plug in the values. So on the primary side no change so 50 volt RMS, 100 ohm. Now this one ZG2 divided by A square will be 10 kilo. And this is 10 kilo. So 10 kilo divided by turn ratio square. Turn ratio is 1 is to 10. So 10 divided by 10 square. So the answer is 100. And since there is no voltage source here, so no need for this one. So our equivalent circuit as the answer has been given in the book also, it looks like exactly the same, 50, 50, 100, 100 and this becomes 100. So this is the equivalent circuit when we replace the secondary. Now let's come to the uh, B part. So in the second part we have to replace the transformer and the primary circuit. This, must, this circuit we have to replace. and we take help of the formula, multiply the primary voltage by the turn ratio, primary impedance multiplied by square of the turn ratio. So this is what our circuit will be and then plugging in the values. A is now minus 10, Vs is 50, so minus 500 volt and this one will become A square, 10 square into 100, 10K and this is 10k. So this is the uh, answer. The answer given in the book is uh, exactly same. Minus 50 volt RMS, 10k and this 10k. So I hope uh, this gives you an understanding and this practice problem we will do in the next video. Thank you.